Hey everybody, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive and I am here in Basel, actually having my own little art Basel uh, today. And uh, I wanted to talk about my experience, which happened yesterday as I was purchasing the Apple Vision Pro. Now, here are my two takeaways after having experienced this. Uh, number one, I was super excited to buy it. I've been looking forward to this for many, many years. And uh, the first thing that happened as I went through checkout was that basically, uh, because there were so many people trying to buy it at the same time, my credit card kept failing or at least that was the error message that I got, but it wasn't that my credit card was failing. It was that every time I selected a time in the, um, in the schedule to pick up the Apple Vision Pro at the store, instead of picking uh, getting it at my house, which was the, it was recommended to go to the store. I don't know why, I could have probably just had it delivered, but uh, yeah, the, I just kept not being able to get a time. And so I just picked one. So I at first had one on February 2nd, and then I picked one eventually like on the 5th because I wanted to kind of jump ahead. I didn't know when the next slot was because by the time I clicked pay, um, that slot might have already been taken. So that was a weird experience because I was like, wait, are they all sold out? Like what's going on? I couldn't really figure it out. Um, and then the next thing that happened was, you know, what I think a lot of people are commenting about. Also, if you have an Apple business account, I wasn't really thinking, I, I guess I could have done this beforehand. I could have already had a pre-order like teed up with the Apple business, um, with the Apple business team, uh, so that it would be connected to my business account. But instead I made it as a consumer purchase. So my assumption is that when I go to the store on the fifth, I'll be able to add that device to my business account so that it will count as something towards my Apple business credit. So just uh, a couple of thoughts when you are thinking about purchasing this and a lot of folks will say, Hey, that's a lot of money. Um, I did spend, I mean, I financed it, so it's not a, all huge chunk all at once um, with the Apple credit card. Uh, so it was the Apple Vision Pro 256 gigabytes. Uh, I got the case for it and then Apple Care. So it did come in over $4,000. It was $4,100. But again, uh, as a developer tool and as a place for me to uh, continue to create my spatial content uh, and spatial audio for my husband, I was like, all right, this is, this is a good investment. And so I can't wait to test it. I'll be uh, making more video as I'm here. In fact, I'll probably, while I wait for the tram, I'll probably make a little scan here. And uh, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing it uh, and you're not sure you're on the fence, you know, I would say right now it's definitely for early adopters or people that can use it for development. Uh, wait a while and see how the reviews are uh, maybe before jumping in. But I can definitely say that uh, I had an advantage being overseas nine hours ahead and not having to get up at five in the morning to make that purchase because I'm pretty sure my um, face ID would not have worked. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. Thanks so much. And uh, I look forward to sharing my adventures with you all soon.